Let's talk about the characteristics of uh, free energy. G is defined as H minus T into S, where H and S are the enthalpy and entropy of the system, and T is the temperature. So H and S are called as state functions, and G is a state function too. G is an extensive property while delta G is equal to G2 minus G1, which is a free energy change between the initial and final states of the system, becomes the intensive property when mass remains constant. And the system is considered as closed system. G has a single value for the thermodynamic state of the system. G and delta G values correspond to the system only. So these are the points to be noted and it's considered as a characteristic of free energy. The three cases of delta G which I defined before itself, delta G lesser than zero is spontaneous, equal to zero is equilibrium and greater than zero is not spontaneous. And not feasible. So delta G is equal to delta H minus T into delta S. According to the first law of thermodynamics, delta H is equal to delta E plus P into delta V. And delta E is equal to Q minus W. Putting these values here, Replacing delta H with this one and this one with this one, you will be getting this value. Delta G is equal to Q minus W plus P into delta V minus T into delta S. Over here, replacing T into delta S by Q, you will be getting this one. So, cancelling Q and Q minus W plus P into delta V. So minus delta G is equal to W minus P into delta V. Isn't it? Over here, T dot delta S is considered as a heat involved in the process. That's why I'm substituting here. The decrease in free energy minus delta G accompanying a process taking place at constant temperature and pressure is equal to the maximum obtainable work from the system other than the work of expansion. This quantity is called as a net work of the system and it is equal to W minus P into delta V. So net work is equal to minus delta G is equal to W minus P into delta V. Minus delta G represents all other forms of work obtainable from the system such as electrical, chemical or surface work other than P minus B work. 